Hello everybody, we are back on Hunting Simulator 2, and I had quite a few requests to go to one of the Europe locations, so that's what we're going to do today. And I also wanted to try out the lever actions, because I had a few requests to test out the lever actions on uh, my Hunting Simulator 2 live stream that I did a couple days ago. Uh, a lot of people wanted to see what the lever actions were like, so we're going to try that out. We're going to go with this one, I already purchased it, it only comes in 3030. As you can see, both of them just come in 30-30, so that's what we're going to have to go with. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing an episode on the ARs also, because I've purchased one of each. I've got the Rec 7 and the Rec 10, so let me know if you guys want to see that. I plan on taking these out probably to Pawnee Meadows or something like that in the near future. Alright, so we are going to go out to, I believe, Hargita County is the way that you would pronounce this. There's quite a few different animals here, including fallow deer, sika deer, red deer. We're mainly going to be trying to find some fallow deer because I have not been able to find one yet, and I'd really like to see what they look like. So we're going to go there. This is a very wooded area, which is why I'm going to be using the 3030 here. So yeah, this should be a pretty interesting hunt. Alright, so here we are on the reserve. I really like the way the lever actions look. The sights are a little bit weird. But the actual visual look of the gun itself is absolutely fantastic. I think they did a super good job on this. If they were to just align the sights correctly on this and a lot of the other like shotguns and stuff, this could be the best weapons in any game. Because they already have the most customization I've ever seen in any hunting game. But yeah, they've got a couple small tweaks they need to make and then it'll be perfect. So let's go ahead and fast travel. We have only found... This tent over here, I found this on my live stream I did the other day. So we're going to go here and start our hunt. It looks like we actually have a stand here. And right as I say that, we actually have what sounds like a fox. This is cool. I really like the fact that they have tree stands like this. That is really cool. I did not even know these were in the game. I also brought along a lot of collars because... I've seen that they're actually very useful. A lot of times with the callers, if you are within 200 meters of an animal and you call, they will reply to it, so it really helps with locating in these thick forests. I've seen quite a few people doing that, so I decided to give it a try yesterday, and yeah, it works out really well. Also, before I forget to mention it, we have ourselves a new little friend. Come on. This is Crow. Got him on my live stream also. And he is a pretty nice looking dog. A lot more useful than the beagle. Because not only can this guy track, but he can also fetch birds for you. So if you want to do the bird hunting in the game, you are going to have to get one of these little labs. But I am super happy that we got Little Crow. Uh, we got a couple really close to us. I'm not sure what they are. I think it might be red deer. Yeah, those are red deer. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get our dog to sit. Come along. Oh my gosh. I mean, it doesn't really look much like a red deer. Ooh, I think we got it. I think we got it. That looked like a vital hit. It looked like a vital hit. Bright blood. Yeah, that's a good trail. I think we definitely got him. Ooh, that's a cool reload animation. I actually really like that reload animation. Man, like, they did so much right with this game. But then there's those few things that they did wrong that kind of hold it back. For example, the models of the animals hold it back. The AI of the animals hold it back. I like the gun system is just so good. I can't get over how amazing their guns are. Ooh, that is a tent right there. We definitely need to go get that. I believe that is our red deer that I just saw running away. I tried to get another shot in him, but unfortunately could not. But we will need to track him a little bit more, but hopefully he won't run too much further. That is a bear. Ah, uh, I think they come to the predator call. Now, I did bring another rifle along so that we could take stuff like bears because the 3030 is not going to really do anything 
to a bear, so I did bring along the 9.3. So hopefully we can take this bear out also. It looks like our dog found something up there. It's probably the red deer, I would imagine. So once we get up here, hopefully there's our red deer. Oh, this bear is coming right at us. We do need it to get closer so we can take a shot, but it's going to be really sketchy having it come over the hill. I don't know if they attack. Never had a close encounter with a bear in this game. What just blocked me? Something blocked my shot. If we get out in the open, we might be able to hit him. We hit him once, but it wasn't a vital hit. Unfortunately. Yeah, looks like that one got away. We'll probably have to track him down, though, because I don't want to get a fine for not claiming an animal. But here's our red deer. Go ahead and pick it up. It looks pretty much just like the elk, so that's kind of disappointing. I really wish they would have taken more time on the antlers for these animals. There we go, it is a mature red deer, so this is as big as they get. Now we will go see if we can get that brown bear. Because we did hit it, so we definitely need to make sure we take it out. Or else we're going to have issues with getting fined. One thing I gotta say real quickly, I really like the 3030. Like, this is actually a pretty awesome gun. It's got a good sound to it, good reload animations. It packs a good enough punch. I would have liked it to do a little bit more to that red deer, but didn't do quite as much as I was hoping, but it did look like we hit it in the stomach anyway, so that kind of explains it. Okay, so we have another bear call. I don't think this is the same bear. I'm pretty sure this is a different one. Get our dog to stay right here. And we'll see if we can get that bear. Hopefully it doesn't spook off like that last one did. Gosh, it's right over there. That is actually scary to hear. Okay, so it's right behind that. For some reason, the scope gets blurry when I get in certain spots. Here he is. And there he goes. We got him down. What a beautiful brown bear. Now I do want to real quickly look to see if it was leaving a blood trail. It was. Okay, so this is actually the one that we shot before. I'm happy that we were able to find it. That means we will not get a fine. So we shot it from 53 meters on that second shot. It is a young one, so it's nothing too insane, but a bear's a bear, so I guess we'll keep on hunting. We did see that tent. I think we forgot to pick it up. Yeah, we need to go back. We forgot to grab that tent. Oh my gosh, that's a red deer, or actually that's a fallow. That will bring it down. So on my way back to try and get, get that campsite that we missed out on, we actually got ourselves a fallow deer. Let's get a close look at these guys and see how they look. You know, honestly, the fallow deer models, they don't look terrible. They're not terrible, at least. They're still not great, but they're passable. They are passable, at least. Now, back to searching for that camp. All right, so it looks like we have something else over here. Where were all of these animals the first time we came through here? Because the first time we went through here, there was absolutely nothing. But it looks like we have stuff here now, so we might as well get all of them down while we can. Okay, so that is a female fallow deer. We can't actually shoot that. And I'm pretty sure she's the only one. Yeah, she is the only one. So we're going to have to move on from that, unfortunately. Alright, here is that tent. We finally found it. 
So let's go ahead and unlock this fast travel location. It's going to make our lives much easier. We're going to get this right here and fast travel back to the lodge. Go ahead and clean the animals. We're not going to keep any of them. We can always get some more. The mature ones aren't as hard to find as I was expecting them to be. That's actually really nice money. Jeez, $38.75 for brown bear. That's pretty good, honestly. That is really, really good. Yeah, let's go ahead and return to the lodge. All right, we are back here in the lodge. Let's go to the store. And we need to real quickly check our licenses to make sure that we don't have any that need to be renewed. And it looks like we are good so far. Let's go ahead and look through the guns, see if there's anything else that we could purchase. Now, we actually don't have a 338 caliber rifle, so I think we'll try to buy one of those. I want to see what different variants come with 338. I think this one... Okay, so it does not. That's unfortunate because I really like the way this rifle looks. We already have 270 for this. This actually, as I was saying in the last video for Hunting Simulator 2, this looks identical almost to my rifle in real life. So that's why I got that one in 270. I think we can get some of these in 338. Okay, this one right here comes in 338. And we do need a camo variant. We don't have any camo rifles yet. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And I think we're also going to purchase a bow. Because we don't have a bow yet. I'm not sure how useful they will be in this game, but I really want to try them out. So let's go ahead and get... I think we'll go with this Divergent True Timber Kanadi. I believe that's how you would pronounce that. Let's go ahead and purchase it. That leaves us with 1700. But I think we'll leave it at that. That looks like about everything that we could ever need for now at least. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this video, my dudes. I hope you all enjoyed. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.